In political campaigns, there's no bigger issue than the economy. That's why you hear candidates say their top three priorities are jobs, jobs, and jobs. That may be true again in Wisconsin's 2018 governor's race, as Democrats and Governor Walker argue over the jobless rate, job creation, and wages. But if jobs are the number one issue, there are early signs that education, K-12 through education, will be a close second. You just heard Democratic candidate Andy Gronick talk about Act 10 and the importance of education in his campaign. And there's speculation that state school superintendent Tony Evers could get into the race. So late last week, I talked with Marquette Law School poll director Charles Franklin about education as a campaign issue. Franklin says his surveys have shown consistent and widespread public support for state spending on K-12 education. People say it's their top spending priority and they're willing to spend more on it. So in principle, Franklin says education is a good campaign issue. But it may be tougher to score political points with it. Democrats tried to hammer Governor Walker with the Act 10 legislation in his recall campaign, but to no avail. And a 2014 law school poll found more people supported Act 10 than opposed it. In addition, Walker's 2017 budget proposal gives him some political cover. It's called for an increase of about $650 million in spending on K-12. That could make some people forget Walker's proposed spending cuts just two years ago. Finally, Franklin says five years of law school polling show that voters think their schools, with perhaps the exception of Milwaukee, are performing pretty well. And that raises a question. Can education be a winning campaign issue for Democrats if people are generally satisfied with their schools? Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.